In this video we're going to try and remove a seized bolt using a spare nut and a welder. We need to remove this blown hydraulic line and we can't remove the clamps because the cap screw socket head has stripped and we can't undo it. So what we're going to try and do here is a little welding trick where we weld a nut to the top of the head. This will heat the threads up and loosen everything and it will also give us something to drive off so we can undo the bolt. So you want to just push your electrode onto the bolt then onto the nut and onto the bolt around in a circumference and that will give you a fairly good um, bond with the bolt itself. You can never get a real good weld on there because you're boxed in, you get inclusions in your weld and a bit of porosity but you can get a fairly good bond enough to undo the bolt anyway. I'm using a 7016 low hydrogen rod, I think it's about 2.5, 2.6 something like that, mill size and I'm setting it to about 80 amps. So you clamp your nut with your earth clamp, center it over the bolt and then bring your electrode down and start welding, try and do your best weld in there. It doesn't always work the first time, sometimes the nuts will snap off when you try and undo it so I always have a few spare nuts and I just keep welding them on until I get it. I wouldn't be disheartened if it doesn't work the first time, it's still a good technique for removing a bolt. Once you get a bit of a weld in there, it's a good idea to try and undo it while it's hot. I never let it cool down too much and um, always a good idea to pick a nut where you can get your socket down onto. You don't want to pick too big of a nut, you can't undo it with anything. So you can use a rattle gun, you can use a breaker bar, ratchet, whatever you want. I was just, that broke fairly easy. So we're going to have another go at that, that was pretty pathetic. Try and use a new nut each time you attempt this, it'll make it a lot easier to weld to. If you want to use a rattle gun, I find setting them on the lowest setting and just sit there gently tapping at it is the best way to undo them. If you turn it on flat out and try and undo them, you're more likely to snap the nut off than you are to undo it. And there it goes. The bolt has come loose. You always get a rush of euphoria when you can salvage a bolt that's damaged that didn't look like it was going to come out. And you can see it's not so hard and that was a pretty, that was a pretty easy one really. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe to my channel. If you want to see more videos on removing damaged bolts, let me know in the comment section below.